Portland, Maine has been known as a fantastic place for artists to come and showcase their talent. Whether you're a painter, a sculptor, an actor, this place seems to have a magic. And what I want to do is I want to explore the youth of musicians here in Portland, Maine. I'm here today with some fantastic friends. I got Zuko Kickass, an up and running musician here in Portland, Maine. And he brought some friends with us today. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Got yep. Sato, Yokai Apollo. Yeah, Yokai Apollo. How did you create this trifecta of fame? How did that happen? It was actually, it's a perfect fit. I've known Sato for um, a couple years through school and he's always been on top of like videography. He's always been on like, he's been known for that for a while. And um, Yokai Apollo, I met him through Sato when we met up to shoot a music video. Then we just started realizing that we work really good together and just stick from there. So before you guys started working together, uh, Zuko, you, you were in a choir when you were younger. That's, yeah. I mean, that's kind of strange to go from choir to rap, rap musician. Yeah. Like that's a big turn of events right there. My parents got divorced when I was little and my dad remarried to a musician, a piano teacher. When I was like five, I was in choirs. I actually did find enjoyment in it actually. And choirs have helped me learn to sing and be able to do vocals. I've been able to learn like breath control a lot easier. It's helped me significantly recording music. And so really I've always liked rap and I can't say that I've necessarily enjoyed choir music, but um, I do it because I knew I was improving my skills of what I wanted to use later. So when it comes to your guys' approach, um, one thing you have talked about is non-conformity. What is it specifically about whether your video making or your beat making or your lyrics what makes you guys non-conformist? Um, for me, at least, it's not that non-conformity. It's just I've always been different. I'm African-American growing up in one of the whitest states. Been <laughs> that black kid in all the classes. So it's really just being myself, which was always me just not conforming. I just don't want to be another person. I'm just, I don't want to have to make up excuses to try to be like somebody else when I can just be myself. I feel like conformity is just everybody trying to be the same. Like it's, you can just be yourself for real. Like it's not that hard. Just be yourself. If people don't like it, they don't like it. How do you do that with film? I feel a lot the same, just the way I grown up. You know, I don't fit in. I'm Japanese, I'm American. And a lot of the way that I got judged here was unfair. So it forced me to think outside the box, try different things and I was gonna get scrutinized anyway, so might as well try something different. Yeah, um, obviously I'm white, so <laughs> I don't have any, uh, We'll try to not hold that against you. I don't have any struggle racially. Um, I've always had a deep love for hip hop because um, growing up I had a lot of struggles with my uh, parents getting divorced and my mom moving away. Always was like super hyper, didn't, have many friends ever. I have to be on like medication for anxiety and I like, you know, I'm just a super anxious guy and I never really quite fit in exactly. So like, I guess it's just kind of naturally what happened and I just got, I was able to be comfortable in my own skin and I've realized that that's the most valuable thing you can ever have. You couldn't help it. You couldn't had to it. become a non -conference. Yeah. When you think about Portland as a city, what do you think is needed most here in order to support local musicians? Diversity, 100%. Not just like, when people think of diversity, they usually think like racial diversity, that also, but also like, most people in Maine are older, so I feel like more young people. Um, I'd say studio space. Yeah. We need some studio space. It is extremely hard in Portland to find a place where you can rent out a studio. So when you say, space, recording space, recording venues. I mean, there are multiple recording venues uh, I, could, I could name. Is it the price uh, of to, to rent a studio space? Is it, do they not have the appropriate equipment? Is it they, they don't, they're not supporting you? I've been in like, I'm gonna just keep it real. Yeah. I've been in the majority of like the studio spaces and a lot of them, it's not that they don't like rap music or they're just, they don't wanna give their space to the public. They kinda wanna pick and choose who they want to be in their studio. Like as in hip hop, as a hip hop artist, like I've gotten a lot of denial in places I didn't think I would when I'm offering to pay full price. Cause I've heard of other artists that have done like pop music and same group of people, same crowd, like 
estimation and they'll charge us like $200 more because of damage costs. There's been like a bad reputation with hip hop artists and R&B like that genre because certain artists have like destroyed venues. So it puts a bad representation on us. I mean, you, you're walking in here with a Mortal Kombat yeah. shirt. I mean, that's, <laughs> that is yeah, pure yeah. damage and destruction. Yeah. This is one thing I, I love asking most people this question is, let's say you make no money. You're still doing it, aren't you? Exactly. exactly. Why? I love it. It's like, I get to be creative every day. I am constantly hustling. I'm a, I like working hard. I get to make music and that like, doesn't matter what day of the week it is, doesn't matter what I have coming up. I always have music no matter what. It's like a therapist. It's like you're mm. talking. It's like, it's like you're bringing the deepest, darkest stuff from your soul and talking to the mic and letting other people know that you're not alone. I've kind of gone back and forth on types of therapy on, you know, creatively, you know. Everything I do creatively is therapy for me. It helps me cope with life. There's no boredom for me. That's just all I gotta say. There's no moment where I'm bored when it's open. It's like, that's how I cope. Just live life, make beats, you know, make music videos, have more ideas and execute. All right, so I'm super happy you guys could be here. You can find everything you want to know about uh, Zuko Kickass. He's on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. He's got Instagram. Do you got a Twitter account as well? Um, I should hop on it. I should hop, hop on, on the Twitter. Oh, wow. But thank you guys so much. I'm excited to hear about this magazine. I'd love to learn more about it. I'd love to see your own EP. Let's let's yeah. make that big too, my man. That's you can also up. find me on all the platforms. Yo, Kyle Paul, just search that up. Absolutely. I'm there.